Yeah, my dad, he was Australia's king of rock and roll, but he actually started the rock and roll business in Australia. Um, he just paved the way for so many people being first artists to get a contract in America. And without that, there wouldn't have been a rock and roll industry. You needed a leader and he was the leader. Well, my dad was always surrounded by music. My dad's father, Ray O'Keefe, had a trio called Ray O'Keefe and the Club Royales. He was drawn to music and did display that talent for singing at an early age in his teens. My dad really uh, got into the rock and roll side of things when he met Lee Gordon, the promoter who was bringing international acts into Australia to perform at the stadium. And dad knew that this rock and roll excited the crowd and got them like so hysterical. He worked with so many artists from overseas, you know, Chuppy Checker, Chuck Berry, Fabian, Little Richard. The list was incredible. He had a great raspy voice, he had that energy and the cute look and he, he, he was brilliant at it. I, I, I haven't heard any other rock and roll singer that could sing it as well as he did with so much conviction. He wrote his own songs. I'm very proud of The Wild One, which he co-wrote with um, the DJs. And you've seen Iggy Pop recorded. It was the soundtrack for Pretty Woman. I mean, that's an incredible feat. And he wrote the theme track for Six O'Clock Rock. Come on, everybody, it's six o'clock. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I sing that to my grandkids now. They absolutely love it. Yeah, my dad had a lot of different facets to his career, you know. I think that the television shows that he hosted, he not only was he a great rock and roll singer and performer, he really knew how to stare down that camera and make the people at home feel like they were right there with him. I think my dad lived probably three lives in one life. He did so much in his lifetime. Growing up with Johnny O'Keefe as my dad was an amazing thing. He was a beautiful person, very much a family person, wanted to spend wonderful times with us as children and show us his world and the colourful world that he lived in. We embraced everything uh, growing up in that lifestyle and wow, you know, um, I've had an amazing life.